The chief of Bodomasi, the more traditional area. I'm also the founder of more traditional council. That is the right wing of more traditional council. I've been a traditional ruler for the community for 42 years now. Now I called my two elders, the community, and told them that we need a secondary technical for the community. My two elders agree with me. Renana, you are a dear for bringing the secondary technical school is in good direction. Now for a period of two years, we have been organizing fundraising towards this school. Now, I'm therefore appealing to Bodumasi citizens in Ghana and abroad. I'm appealing to them to help us raise funds either is in cash or in kind to build classrooms, dormitories for the school. We alone cannot do it, except the government also comes in. I'm therefore appealing to the government, to the Ministry of Education, also to absorb the school so that our burden will be reduced. I'm sure that my appeal will get good results for the community. And then the school which we have started, the school has reached its second year. The students are therefore taking their courses. And I hope that the government will absorb the school to benefit the future generation. Thank you very much. Hello, people of the world. I am Jacob Ntidansu, the headmaster of Bodumasi Senior High Technical School in the Ashanti region of Ghana. The school is situated in Bodumasi, which is a community of about 3,500 inhabitants, and their main occupation is peasant farming. As of now, the school has around about 125 students. The school started the uh, last two years that is the 2016-17 academic year, with that number of uh, students now. The school fees is 320 Ghana cities a term. But to be honest with you, this fee was arrived at just to entice many students to come to the school. But unfortunately, many are not able to come because of this small amount of fees being charged per term. At the end of every term, about 50% of them are unable to pay their school fees. This tells you the nature of the, uh, the, the parents that we are dealing with. To, to, to go ahead, in this time and age, if we look around, you can see that as a headmaster, I am running the affairs of this school without a single computer. In this time and age, this tells you that we are really struggling to make ends meet. The school, if you look around, we have some few facilities 
which we started with support from uh, the meager amount of contributions from the inhabitants who are peasant farmers. And because of that, we have been able to do nothing to do, uplift the image of the school. As of now, our classrooms are incomplete, they are dusty, uh, we don't have a standardized playing field. Our workshop as a technical uh, institution, our workshop is nothing to write home about. Now if you talk about the ICT lab, then I, I, I hope you know what it means. The technical workshop, we have some few tools, then, and because of that, the teachers or the masters have to pick the tools, send them to the classroom, show it to the children, they do some, something just more, then bring them back. So it means as a technical school, we don't have uh, a technical workshop. We have started something, but it is still incomplete. We go to uh, our dining hall and the students eat from under trees. And so when it is raining or shining, you see the hazards the children are exposed to. We go to our washroom, we have been able to raise something, but it is very, very small and somebody who is easing himself or herself is being watched by other people from outside, which is not very, very good. If you look at the library, we don't have even have a library. We have some few library books packed here, but nowhere to uh, uh, display them as a library. At the moment, the chief and the community have supported us with an 18-acre land of uh, plot of land for uh, development projects of the school. And at the moment, we are using about just uh, one seat of the land allocated for the school. So it means that benevolent organizations and individuals have a large a space of land to help us if they so wish. So as far as land is concerned, the community, the chief and his people are ready to support the school and in the individuals organizations who are ready to give us the needed support. Uh, we don't also have dormitories or hostels for our students. So all these problems come into play to come part the progress of the teaching and learning of the school. So in this line, on behalf of the community and the school, the student body, I am appealing to benevolent societies and individuals to come to the aid of Godmas Senior High Technical School because we have started a very good work, but then because of financial constraints, we are unable to continue and if we don't get support from other people, I'm afraid our dream of uh, extending secondary technical education to the inhabitants of Bokumasi may come to a halt. I'm therefore appealing to benevolent organizations and new individuals from uh, near and far to come to the aid of Bokumasi Senior High Technical School. Thank you very much. May it be an evening star. And even the floor of the classroom are not conducive for learning. And we are not even safe here. Since we don't have windows and doors to our classrooms, so we are appealing to the government 
and benevolence to come into our aid. Since it is a technical institution, we need a workshop to aid the technical students so that they can learn their course well. So we are appealing to authorities and stakeholders of the country. If possibly they can provide us with the workshop, we would be glad to aid us in our learning. of Kumaubot Mass and we'd like to know from them if they are really students or not. It will marvel you most of the boys here may know nothing about education. So let's talk to some one of them and see what they will say. What is your name? My name is Boatin Eric. Boatin Eric? Yeah. Are you a student? No sir. I finished the DHS <laughs> uh, 2014. Last, last, the past four years. Yeah, so 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 why are you not in school? So the time I finish this school, mm -hmm. I can't I don't get any help. Mm -hmm. So my, my and my mother don't have any work to do so. So where are they? Where is your mother and where is your father? So by my mother my mother is there but my father is not my, my father is died dead. Is your father is dead? Yes, yes. What what do you want to be in future? Uh, I want to be accountant. Accountant. Yeah, in future. So do you think being here, what you are doing now, can make you an accountant? No, no. That's so so let me ask you: if you are given the opportunity, okay, to school, to be in the secondary school, senior high school, will you take it? Yes. Okay. So you heard from these boys here that they wish to be in school but there are no finances and they are looking for people who can really assist them. So that is the students of Mahubot Masi and these are people who wish to be in school but they are not.